Mohammed Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful, soul master's day of judgment in which we now live. The alone do we serve, and the alone seeks for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou hast bestowed thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. Say he, Allah is one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten there is none like him. And I bear witness. That none is heard to be served, worshipped, or praised besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, we'd like to acknowledge the brothers and sisters who extended us the greetings of Assalamu alaikum. We have Brother Muta Kabir Ali from New Jersey. We have Brother Yusuf Hakim from Oklahoma. We have Brother Mustafa and Sister Sharice Ali from Ohio, and we have the Rafiq family. I like to say in the name of Allah who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, and in the name of his last and greatest message of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I like to greet the brothers and sisters with the Nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Alaykum. Today we like to talk about Muhammad feeds the multitudes, and this is a picture from uh, the accomplishments of the Muslims. And it's, uh, it says at the bottom, it says loads of whiting H&G fish deposited on dock at the Los Angeles Harbor testify to millions of pounds of the, of the nutritious seafood imported to North America for consumption by blacks. Now to understand Muhammad's feeds the multitude we like to go back to the instructions given to the laborers by Master Farah Muhammad. And he says, why is stress made to the Muslims to copy the minister Elijah Muhammad's answers? He says, the past history shows that Almighty Allah sends prophets and apostles for the people's guide and example. Because when we hear that Muhammad feeds the multitudes. This is an example of what Jesus did. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. When Jesus fed the multitudes. Mm -hmm. Because Master Farah Muhammad said that the past history shows that the Almighty Allah sends prophets and apostles for the people's God and example. So you're supposed to be able to show an example through the scriptures of your work. Not just having people use the scriptures to show how wise you are. Or to give the people an interpretation. Because that's what we like to do in this new school stuff. Right. We wise because of the way we recite our lessons. That would make us wise. We wise by the way we interpret the Bible. How we interpret the Quran. That's what makes me wise. That's what makes me uh, an apostle or the messenger or these big names. These big titles we get just for our interpretation, not based on our work. Because when Master Farah Muhammad told us why we copy the messenger's answers, it wasn't just for us to recite what he said. The message to the black man is not for us to just read what the messenger said and just go tell people like, yo, the messenger said this and this and that. It's supposed to be an example and a guide for the people. That's right. That's the point. Because if we telling the people something, but we don't have an example of what we saying. How they gonna know what we mean? Just like if you doing math and you got a problem, what if they ain't had no examples? They just tell you just go do it. Like this is what you supposed to do, but you don't have an example. Anytime you have a problem, you always have to have an example, a guide and a standard, yeah. so you can understand what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So the messenger is our God right. and he is our example because in Matthew chapter 14 verse 14 it talk about Jesus 
feeding the multitudes. It says, And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion towards them, and he healed their sick. He didn't just teach the people. He felt compassion for the people. And that's the past history shows. When Allah sent prophets and apostles to the people, they feel compassion for the people. Right. They don't just teach them. They don't just show how wise I am to just give you some teachings to just send you on your way. Right. They feel compassion for the people. That's right. So when you have a prophet and a, an apostle, they always have some example of their work in concerning food, clothing, and shelter. Right. Right. That goes along with being an apostle too. That's right. It goes along with being a prophet. Mm -hmm. Because Moses, he didn't just teach the people. People had needs. People That's had right. problems. That's right. So when the people got hungry, he gave them manna. Right. Because Master Farah Muhammad says the past history shows that the Almighty Allah sends prophets and apostles for the people's guiding and example. And through them, his mastery was revealed. His mystery was revealed. And those who follow the apostle will see the light. Yes, sir. Now let's look at this is a Muhammad Speaks newspaper. This is the March 1st, 1974, Muhammad Speaks. And it says Muslim imports over 2 million pounds of fresh fish. And at the bottom is a picture of brothers on the ship as the big crate of fish is being taken off. It says entire cargo of the merchant ship which docked in Mobile, Alabama last February 14th was imported by the Nation of Islam. So this is a picture of the fish in Mobile, Alabama. So that's one port that the messenger had fish coming in from Mobile, Alabama. Yes, sir. Then we got another example of where the messenger had fish coming in from. This is the Rochester Democratic and Chronicle. This is the Sunday, August 11, 1974. It says, aimed at blacks. Because we talked last week about these brothers talking all this nationality stuff. Yes, sir. You know, I ain't black. I'm an Israelite. Right. I ain't black, I'm a Moor. Mm -hmm. I ain't black, I'm an African. So when the messenger got these programs, these programs for black people, yes, sir. he didn't just single it out to some segment of a nationality. Mm -hmm. Say this for black people. Right. That's the message. Mm -hmm. Because if, if beyond the teaching, beyond us saying I'm an Israelite or I'm a Moor or I'm an African, okay, what do we do in the way of food, clothing, and shelter? We just gonna keep it with literature and us talking about who we are? Okay, we Israelites. How we feed the Israelites? How the Most High done taught us how to feed the people? We can talk about the Most High when we keep them in the Bible. We can talk about African spirituality when we keep them in Egypt. We can talk about how the black man is God when we keep them in the lessons. How the people gonna eat? Right. right. All praise due to Allah. Right. We can be wise when we keep them in the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But who got the example when it comes to food, clothing, and shelter? Yes, sir. Because mm -hmm. Master Farah Muhammad said, past history shows. God been doing what he been doing for a long time. He ain't right. just come on the scene in 1930 and start doing stuff. God been on the scene for trillions of years. Right. God is a function. Mm -hmm. God ain't no talk. Mm -hmm. God been here longer than 1611 when that... King James Version of the Bible came out. Right. And they started talking about God. So your little interpretation don't mean nothing when it comes to God. Mm -hmm. God got a function. God got people. Mm -hmm. And God serves the needs of the people. So we what got to remember when we talk about teachings. It ain't just teachings. It's a function. We got to remember that. So the messenger says, aim at blacks. Muslims sell fish from Peru. And this is in the middle of the article. It says a Peruvian fish, a Peruvian ship docked in New York City two weeks ago with the first load. 13,500 
metric tons of white. What's a metric ton? I heard of tons. But this say 13,500 metric tons of white. It's a lot of white. And to give us a, a visual of how much whiting that is, we were driving trucks. The mass capacity of weight that we could carry was 40 tons. That was the max, 40 tons. You couldn't go over that. Now, if you were to take 40 tons and divide 40 tons into 13,500 tons, that would be 337 trucks. Track the trailers. Full to capacity with fish. Yes, sir. Right. All praise due to Allah. Right. Because right. yes, the past history shows that Allah sent prophets and apostles for the people's example and for their God. That's right. He ain't bring them to just be talking, to just tell us we black and then don't have no way to cater to our needs. Mm -hmm. This is how the God shows his power. Through his apostles and his prophets. Yes, sir. He shows them by how they can cater to the people's needs. Because the people are fools. Yeah. We deaf, dumb, and blind. That's right. It ain't hard for nobody can, to convince us about no teachings. Mm -hmm. The white man had us believing that we was going to die and rise again. Mm -hmm. We believe that. That's right. Some people still believe that. Grown men and women today still believe one day they're going to die and rise again to, and go to heaven. So how hard is it to deceive black people? Mm -hmm. You can come with any kind of teaching. Sound wise. Something different. Right. Something new. Mm -hmm. You have people follow it. But how many people can put their work into practice? Right. That's right. Because the messenger was the first leader that told us Islam is a working religion. That's right. That's what he That's said. Right. That's right. They ain't never tell us that in Christianity, that Christianity was a working religion. No. Jehovah's Witness is a working religion. Being a Jew is a working religion. The message said Islam is a working religion. He said Islam ain't what you say. Islam is what you practice. That's the message. He wasn't about all this wise guy stuff. The message was about putting brothers to work. And when you look at these Muhammad Speaks newspapers, these was black people offloading these ships. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. These was black people loading the stuff onto the trucks. That's right. It was black people driving them trucks. That's right. It was black people delivering that fish. That's right. It was black people going door to door. That's right. It's the message. All praise to Allah. Right. It's the message. Right. Yes, it's Master Farah Muhammad said the past history shows. He didn't come here to make us wise by his talk. He came here to make us doers. We That's supposed right. to be an example of what That's we talking right. about. That's, right. That's the God. Because when you look at these teachers, these teachers is only simply telling us what we're supposed to be doing. That's right. That's what it is. That's right. We Muslims. Mm -hmm. So these teachers, we're supposed to have for our own study. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to know what we're supposed to be doing and what kind of example we're supposed to be for the people. That's right. It ain't for us to be going out here making them think we're so smart because we know what it's saying to mess to the black man. Right. It don't mean nothing. Right. People got problems. Right. People need to eat. Right. They want food. Yeah. They want clothing and shelter. That's what leaders supposed to provide for the people. That's right. If you love. Mm -hmm. So the messenger had in Mobile, Alabama, and these the documented facts. This ain't no oral history that we just talking embellishing on the message. Mm -hmm. These documented right. facts. That's right. The messenger had two million pounds of fish coming into Mobile, Alabama. Then the messenger had thirteen thousand five hundred metric tons of fish coming in New York. Mm -hmm. Now, the fish that was coming into New York, to get us an understanding of how this go, we don't want to think that them brothers in New York was doing something more than the brothers in Los Angeles, the brothers in Mobile, and the brothers in Miami. Yes, more fish was coming to New York because it's distributed to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. So this 13,000 tons wasn't just for brothers in New York. It was for Detroit, Chicago, Philly, right, yes, the East Coast. So we don't want to start getting crazy. Thinking like, oh, look at all that fish coming to them. No, it's being distributed. Right. So to get the people to understand. So the messenger got another article. And this comes from the Pittsburgh Carrier, October 12, 1974. 
And it says Miami Muslims get first shipment of fish. So the messenger got fish coming in Mobile, Alabama. Mm -hmm. He got fish coming in New York. And he got fish coming in uh, Miami. Yes, sir. These is ports. Mm -hmm. So it say 165 tons of Whiting H&G recently arrived here in Miami and will be distributed by the Nation of Islam's Miami Temple. This South American shipment is a part of Elijah Muhammad's Feed the People program. It says, Minister Henry X coordinated the logistics of bringing the fish here to Miami and its local distribution. He says, this shipment of whiting fish comes as a blessing to our community in light of the high cost of food, which is affecting the diets of blacks throughout, throughout America. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad is meeting a number of social problems with the importation of fish. He is dealing with the high cost of food. He is providing a very nutritious diet. And he is providing employment for many who will be assisting in the distribution. The shipment arrived on a Peruvian vessel, Solar Reefer, and docked at the Port of Miami at Dodge Island. So that's all that the messenger, plus he teaching you. Now, we want to look at what the, all what the messenger was doing. Right. Now, he already raising the dead. Right. That's right. a job in and of itself. That's right. That's right. Raising the dead. That's right. The deaf, dumb, and blind black man. That's right. Now, you taking these same deaf, dumb, and blind black people and getting them to be the largest importers of fresh fish in the country. Yes, sir. All yes, praise due to Allah. Yes, because Master Farah Muhammad says the past history shows that Allah sends prophets and apostles for the people's guide and the people's example. Yes, sir. It's Master Farah Muhammad. Yes, sir. And the instructions to his teachings. And that goes for all his teachings. Because right. we don't want to make it seem like the lessons are something different from anything else. Right. That goes for everything. Mm -hmm. when, the, when Master Farah Muhammad say the past history shows that the Allah sends prophets and, and apostles for the people example, that goes for all the teachers. Mm -hmm. Ain't no part of the teachers is something just to make us wise. Mm -hmm. We need to kill all that. Right. The teachers is just instructions for us to know what we need to be doing. That's right. Because before we were deaf, dumb, and blind, wasn't all of this memorizing lessons and needs as the teachers. We lived right. this. Right. All praise due to Allah. Right. This is how we live. Right. We knew how to do for self. Right. We had knowledge of self. That's right. We knew who the, we knew who God was. We was doing what we naturally do and be righteous by nature. That's right. What we were doing. Yes, sir. But now we have become deaf, dumb, and blind. That's right. So now somebody got to teach us how to be who we are. Yes, sir. That's what the teachings is. Yes, sir. That's right. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just telling you what you're supposed to be doing. That's, That's right. it. Mm -hmm. So the messenger had fish coming in. From Mobile, Alabama, New York, and Miami. And this is another, this is comes from the March 31st, 1975 Jet Magazine. And this says, one of four ships containing a total of 550,520 pounds of fish for Muslim docks in Los Angeles Harbor. Now, they say this one of four ships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you take 550,000 pounds, multiply by four, that's two million pounds yeah. of fish. It's the message. Yes, sir. Now, when you start talking about food, clothing, and shelter, now, if, you, if we continue to argue with these groups, with this debate stuff, you know, who teachings is right. Mm -hmm. We can argue all day. But food, clothing, and shelter, that's the arena only the messenger in. Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. all pray to Allah. Right. Now, if we right. just stay in the arena of some teachings, we could argue all day with these people. Right. But right. when we say, okay, now, right. we done with arguing with these teachings. Right. We done with arguing about being black. Right. We done with arguing about God came in the person of Master Farai Muhammad. We done with arguing you talking about the message, the last message of the law. Let's talk about some food, clothing, and shelter. Right. 
with them Sunnis, the Christians, mm -hmm. all of them. Let's talk about who has the plan, who's God. Right. Has the plan for some food clothing to show. Right. All praise do it to Allah. Right. So I want to talk about right. Right. tired of arguing with you right. about this nonsense. Right. Let's start talking about some food clothing and shout. Mm -hmm. But what they would like to do, if you start talking about that, they'll say, well, where is it now? Where is all the stuff that the messenger had? Where is it now? Why y'all ain't got the fish coming in from Peru? Why y'all ain't got the farmland, the stores, the businesses? You got to go back to Master Farah Muhammad. Master Farah Muhammad said, The past history shows that the Almighty Allah sends prophets and apostles for the people's guide and example. So, if the messenger was an apostle of Allah. We should be able to see his example in the scriptures mm -hmm. to explain why you don't see all of this stuff that the messenger built. Why you don't see it now? Let's talk about Jesus. Everybody want to say they Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Jesus in the Bible. What happened with Jesus? This comes from Matthew 26 chapter, starting with the 31st verse. It says, then said Jesus unto them, he said, all ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus was on top when he was telling them this. Mm -hmm. They was walking on water with Jesus. Mm -hmm. They was turning water into wine with Jesus. Mm -hmm. They were seeing Jesus heal the blind. Right. They were so zealous for Jesus that one of the guards came up to arrest Jesus. Peter took his knife out and cut his ear off. That's how hard them apostles was going for Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Jesus tell them after they little supper, he says, all ye shall be offended because of me this night. Mm -hmm. All y'all. Mm -hmm. So when they heard that, they like, what you mean? we going to be offended by you? Because Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. So Peter was like, no, nah, man, ain't no way. They might not like you. I'm going to love you. Bro. I don't know what you're talking about, Jesus. What's up with this? Why you, why you coming at us like this, you know? We love you. We was with you. I cut this man ear off for you. What you talking about? I'm going to be offended by you tonight. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, That this night before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me twice, three times. Yes, sir. That's right. That's it. That's right. Now Jesus telling them this at the height of the stuff they doing. Right. Yes, sir. He telling them this. Mm -hmm. Telling us all oh, this coming to an end. Mm -hmm. This going to get so bad, all oh, y'all going to act like y'all don't even know me. Right. That's right. Because Master Farah Muhammad said that the past history shows that Allah sends prophets and messengers for the people's example and for their God. Yes, sir. That's right. So all of this stuff that's happening with the messenger ain't happened before. That's right. That's right. And the Bible and the scriptures is our guide to understand what's going on right now. Yes, sir. That's right. So that's why we say that the messenger is the last messenger of Allah. That's right. Because all of this that's happening now is not going to happen no more. Because unlike Jesus, the messenger told us, Savior's Day 1974, same thing. Mm -hmm. He showed everybody the height of the nation of Islam. We got all of these trucks. That's right. We got all of these farmland. I got all these followers. We done sold this many Muhammad speaks. Right. What did he tell them? Mm -hmm. Said the nation going to take a fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because Allah sends prophets and messengers for the people's God. The same thing Jesus told him, same thing the messenger told him, just like with Moses. Moses took him across the Red Sea. Right. They was on top with Moses. That's right. Moses had manna coming from the sky, according to the Bible. Yeah. According to the Bible. We don't want to get spooky, but that's right. what the Bible says. Right. They was on top with Moses. Mm -hmm. But when Moses left, there wasn't no more around. Mm -hmm. They wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Is that right or wrong? All praise be to Allah. Why? Because the past history shows 
that Allah sends prophets and messengers for the people's guide and example. So this stuff been going on for a long time. That's right. And the people, when the prophet or the messenger is no longer with them, mm -hmm. they drop the ball. Yeah. Right. That's right. This was going on with the messenger ain't nothing new. Mm -hmm. He told us this. That's right. He said, I come to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. That's what I come to do, yes, to fulfill sir. it. Mm -hmm. And he did that. He sure did. That's you right. can show where he fed the multitude. That's right. You can show where he raised the dead. That's right. And you can show where he told it's going to fall. Yes, sir. But the difference between the messenger and Jesus, the messenger said it's going to fall, but it's going to rise to never fall again. That's right. All praise due to Allah. That's right. That's the one thing that's different with the messenger yes, and the rest of them. That's right. He said, I'm going to be the winner whether I'm living or dead. That's right. That's right. That's right. Jesus ain't say that. That's right. Let's go on with Jesus. It says, Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all of the disciples. So when Jesus was telling them that y'all about to play me, it's about to get so bad, the same people who was with me, y'all right. about to turn on me now. Right. They couldn't believe that. Right. Just like you can listen to Brother Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. He talk about the two when the messenger used to tell them, and Brother Akma. They used to say when the messenger used to tell them about it, they couldn't believe it. Like, what you mean? All of this? Mm -hmm. How are how we, how we going to lose all of this? Mm -hmm. The same with Jesus. Mm -hmm. The disciples didn't, didn't believe that we about to lose all of this. Right. How we gonna lose all of this? Mm -hmm. Because Master Farah Muhammad told that's why in the lessons it say you're supposed to study mm -hmm. the lessons until you can recite it by heart. That's right. It ain't no thing for you to just study them just to be wise. That wise stuff is this new school stuff. Mm -hmm. But brothers used to try to do that when the messenger was alive with all this wise stuff. Mm -hmm. And he'll always shoot them down. Like, yeah. nah, brother. Because if you listen to the laborers meet, it was brothers on the West Coast, I believe, trying to set up meetings without telling other brothers. That's right. right. Yes, sir. The messengers say, we all the same. Mm -hmm. He said, we all the same. You got something you want to do, why you ain't call him? Right. right. That's right. Well, what's the purpose of that? That's right. If you want to talk about the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, you can talk about that with all the brothers. That's right. Why you got to have this little secret stuff? That's right. You ain't no better than nobody else. That's right. Say, we all the same. He right. even included himself because yeah. the messenger used to call brothers brother. That's right. That's how the messenger was. When you listen to him talk, he said, well, brother, That's he right. didn't have his high and mighty, I'm the messenger, but you had to respect the messenger, but I'm saying. Yes, sir. He didn't have his high and mighty thing. He used to call brothers brother. That's he right. used to give brothers money. That's right. Give him money. Right. right. Here. That's the message. That's right. He used to see he was talking in that laborers meeting, talking about how he buying other brothers' temples before they had a temple in the, in Chicago. Yeah. He the message. That's right. That's the message he did for himself last. Mm -hmm. That temple and that them houses he bought was at the end. Mm -hmm. Everybody else was fat. Mm -hmm. Go look at them Muhammad Speaks yeah, newspaper, look at right. them ministers. That's right. Brothers had Rolls Royces and Cadillacs. That's right. It wasn't no Poe brothers with the messenger. That's right. But the messenger did for himself last. All that stuff that they had in Chicago, that temple that they bought for the messenger was last. Mm -hmm. They had temples in uh, uh, Atlanta, right. new temple in uh, uh, Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. They had all kind of new temples. They had that temple in New York. Mm -hmm. All that. The messenger got his temple last before when everybody else was straight. Right. And that's what he said when he was in the, uh, the laborers meet. He was talking about how the Muhammad Speaks newspaper is the reason why they can cash out. Mm -hmm. All praise be to Allah. He was talking about the sales of the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, right. teaching brothers how to be doers, do right. for self. That's right. And whenever the messenger had a program, he told the public, "This is for the black man." That's right. He didn't right. never had nothing like this. Everybody, if everybody want to come, you can come. Mm -hmm. You want to come to the salon, but this for the black man. Right. This bank for the black man. Right. This white nation G is for the black man. That's right. If a devil want to buy him some white. Your money green too. That's right. But this for the black man. That's, right. That's the message. That's right. These other people ain't doing that. That's right. It's the message. Yes, sir. So let's go even further with the white nation G. Because the messenger, he used to clown these other groups subtly <laughs> in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper right. with these cartoons. Right. This is a picture of two devils watching a brother on a tractor. And the tractor says self-help. And the devil's saying, why couldn't they have merely clenched their fists 
as the, as a sign of black power like the others. Mm -hmm. yeah. All this black right. power stuff. Right. Messenger just so suddenly just <laughs> right. in my own sweet newspaper. Tell him. That's right. yes. The messenger and the muscles was different than how we was. Yeah. Tell him. Sometime it'll be subtle. It'll be real subtle. They'll just put a, sometime you'll miss it. Come yeah. back to like, oh, I ain't even see that the right. first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be so subtle. Yeah. But then they'll come hard at it. Right. Because that book by Chancellor Williams, The Destruction of Black Civilization, I forgot to bring that Muhammad Speaks newspaper, but they did a critique on that book. Talk about how that book was garbage. Mm -hmm. Talking about he didn't know what he was talking about. Yes, sir. Because he got it wrong with Islam in Africa. Mm -hmm. So they weren't just co-signing these little scholars just because you was talking black. Mm -hmm. You had to be talking the messengers kind of black. That's right. For some Muslims to be co-signing you. That's right. Because they went had a whole article written about that book. Mm -hmm. How that wasn't good for the black man. Yes, sir. But if you look at Muslims today, they'll they talk about that book like that's something good for us to read. Yes, sir. But it wasn't like that with the message. That's right. So let's go even further with the fish. This comes from the March 11th, 1974, Pittsburgh Post Gaza. And the title of this article is Homewood Gets Economic Lift from Black Muslims. This is a whole city in Pennsylvania that they say get an economic lift. They didn't say the Muslims went in there talking some talk. Yes, sir. Well, the Muslims had a temple in there, and they got a spiritual uplift. Mm -hmm. Say the economic uplift. Yes, sir. Praise All praise due to Allah. This is the kind of stuff other groups can't talk about. That's right. We want to argue with these Hebrews about who black and who are Israelite. We can argue with that, argue with them about the Bible, but when it comes to food, clothing, and shelter, and this ain't even from the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Mm -hmm. The devil used to write articles about the message. That's right. The devil used to see the work that the Muslims was doing and used to go do reports on the Muslims. That's right. The devil. That's right. Because the devil didn't believe that the messenger was going to be successful with this fish. Mm -hmm. We're going to read that a little later. Right. They didn't believe they was going to do right. that successful right. with that fish right. like they was in a couple months. Right. In a couple months, the messenger blew up. That's right. And all of these Arab Arabs who you see with these fish spots. They got it from the messenger. Praise you to Allah. Right. Right. The messenger was the one who opened up that fish yeah. in America for the black man. That's he right. was the one who That's did right. that. Yeah. And it's the documented history shows that. Yes, sir. He was the largest importer of a fresh fish to anybody in the country. Yes, sir. That's Little right. old nation of Islam. Yes. Little old Muslims. Right. Little old deaf, dumb, and blind. Right. Black men. That's right. With the messengers teaching the self-help. That's yes, right. Sir. You rise to become in a few months, become the number one in the country. That means devils too. That's right. That's All right. praise That's due right. to Allah. Right. That means devils too. That's right. So when we talk about Master Farah Muhammad is our God, That's we right. talking about something real. We ain't yeah. talking about nothing fake. That's right. When we say we pray to the Master, That's right. Master Farah Muhammad is the God. That's right. He the only one we call God. We don't call no other brother God. You ain't did what the God did. That's right. You don't deserve that type. That's right. That's when you dealing with Muslims. Mm -hmm. When you dealing with these fake Muslims, that's when they'll call another brother Allah. Yeah. What you look like. Right. Calling another brother God. I ain't calling no other brother God. I'm going to just tell you. I ain't calling you God. This title was for Master Farah Muhammad. Yeah. When the messenger talked about other Muslims, yeah. we the Muslims. What he said, he ain't never addressed no brother like he was God. When brothers was trying to do that, the messenger stopped it in uh, the theology of time. He stopped that. Yes, sir. Because they was trying to take the messenger and elevate him to the position of Master Farah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes. Just like how we try to do today. Mm -hmm. We take what the messenger said and take it out of context That's with right. this. Oh, well, you know, he said that Master Farah Muhammad came to make us a nation of gods. Black man is born. We gods by nature. We got God is like saying a human. God ain't nothing spooky. That's right. God is like saying his brother a human. Mm -hmm. That's what God is. God ain't nothing spooky, all this supernatural stuff like this Christian stuff. Right. So when he said he come to make us a nation of gods, he come to make us be ourselves. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Our he didn't come to make you and put you in his spot. Yeah, I ain't right. going with that. That's right. Care what these brothers say. I don't care how you quote the messenger, you need to quote him right. right. In the proper context of what he said. Yeah. He's not telling you. That Master Farah Muhammad came to make us just like him so we can be self-independent. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. 
we still going to be ruled by him. That's right. That's we right. still going to be ruled by him. We still going to have to submit to him. That's right. Praise be to Allah. That's right. All praise due to Allah. So we don't want to get it confused with this black man's God That's stuff. Right. That's right. We always want to clear that up. Master Farah Muhammad is our God. That's, That's right. who we pray to. That's we don't pray to no spook. We don't go and join and participate with other black people praying to no spook. That's right. I saw one time these brothers was holding hands with these Christians praying. Holding hands like you standing in a circle with the Christian. Man, we praying to Master Friar right. Muhammad, brother. That's right. If you don't want to do it like we doing it, then let's just keep it separate. That's right. We respect you. Yeah. We can work in unity together if you want to, but when it comes to the God, I'm not doing nothing other than what the messenger told us when it comes to God. That's right. The Master Friar Muhammad earned that respect. When you see all the work that the messenger did. That's Don't right. no other person get the respect Master Farah Muhammad get when you're dealing with Muslims. That's right. So this is an article that says Homewood gets economic lift from black Muslims. It says in the 700 block of North Homewood Avenue and around the corner on Kelly Street, there are signs reading Shabazz Fish Dish, Shabazz Barbershop, Shabazz Bakery, Shabazz Fish Company, Shabazz Restaurant, Shabazz Dining, Muhammad Speaks, Muhammad's Imports, and Muhammad's Temple Number 22. All that Muhammad and Shabazz. Yes, sir. In a bad part of the city. Because mm -hmm. they were talking about in this article that the bank only opened five hours a week. Five hours a week. And they were talking about every time they open the door for a person to come in, the guard opening and unlock it. Then when you come in, he lock it back. That's what kind of neighborhood Homewood was. <laughs> this is where the Muslims came in. Yes, because right. the messenger raising the dead. That's right. That's right. He raising the dead. That's he right. like Jesus. He felt compassion for the black man. That's right. All praise is due to Allah. That's the message. Ain't nobody else. He said, brothers, go down there to Homewood, brother. Yes, sir. Go raise the dead. Right. That's what the messenger did. Yes, sir. He ain't just do like how these people do with the black power stuff. Right. Go to Homewood walking around like black power. No. <laughs> go down there and open up some business. Them people right. need to eat. Right. Right. All praise right. due to Allah. Right. Right. It says, the name Shabazz and Muhammad are almost synonymous with the Muslims. And this is a brother said, I think they are looked upon here as a shining light at the end of a tunnel. So when the Muslims came to Homewood, because the lesson said, what is the duty of the civilized person? Mm -hmm. The duty of the civilized person is to teach civilization to the uncivilized. That's right. The brothers in Homewood was doing bad. Right, right. So them brothers in they went to Homewood. They ain't had to say, hey, brother, take this out. This is what uh, Lost Found Muslim Lesson number such and such say. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No. That's right. That ain't the duty of the civilized man. That's right. The lesson is telling you what you need to do. That's right. You need to go teach the civilized, the uncivilized. Mm -hmm. Civilization. Mm -hmm. They in Homewood struggle. They, they ain't got no food. They ain't got no clothing, no shelter. Uh -huh. So the Muslims come in with the messages program. Right. Set up shop in Homewood. The people start seeing the savage people, the people who couldn't do for themselves. They start looking at the Muslims at the light at the end of the time. That's right. Now we see some hope. That's right. Because the Muslims here, mm -hmm. they like a light at the end of the tunnel for us because everybody else gave up on Homewood. Right. right. They was moving out. Yeah. And as they was moving out, the Muslims was moving in. Yes, yeah. sir. And they was the example for the people in Homewood. That's right. And that's what Master Farah Muhammad said, that an apostle and a prophet is raised for the people's example, and they got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, he says, the Homewood branch of Pittsburgh National Bank, more people are coming into the area and using the services they are offering. So because the Muslims came in and set up shop, that's more people start coming to Homewood. Yes, sir. It's a messages program. That's right. Once you civilize, mm -hmm. do for yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't need the devil. That's right. All you need to do is teach the black man how to do for himself. He'll That's be right. attracted to that. That's right. The people, same people who will move out will come back. That's right. When you start teaching them the knowledge of self. Right. When you start teaching them how to do for self. And they will raise up the community. Mm -hmm. Then people will get hope. Right. Then people will start trying to emulate you. Mm -hmm. They'll start seeing you like you the light at the end of the tunnel. Enjoying the show? 
Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033 to make a donation. That's the messages program. That's right. So, he says, uh, William Knight, manager of Beans Gulf Station at North Homewood and Hamilton Avenue echoes Foster. He says, they have been beautiful, says Knight. I think from a business standpoint, they are very influential because they are making people turn around and take a look at themselves. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's the message. That's right. His teachers will make you look at yourself. That's right. All, All praise due to Allah. Because when you're looking at a black man, you're looking at yourself. Mm -hmm. So now you're seeing this black man got a business. Mm -hmm. Brother tell you, yeah, I used to be a junkie. Mm -hmm. Be a wino. Right. Yes, sir. I ain't got no education. Mm -hmm. But that's Shabazz fish spot. That's mine, brother. Hey, do the law. Brother, get home. He's still looking at himself like, man, this brother, he ain't got no education. I ain't either. Let me come on down to the temple, see what they talking about. It's the message. That's right. Yes, sir. So he says, I think from a business standpoint, they are very influential because they are making people turn around and take a look at themselves, says Robert. Uh, Bolden Jr., Executive Director of Homewood Brushton Health Center and former Executive Director of the Pittsburgh Model Citizens Program. The Muslims who say they do not take loans probably are the only true self-help minority businessmen, Boulder says. As for crime against the Muslims, Police Inspector William Moore with a smile says they do take care of their own. No, I don't think anyone will hold them up. Right, yes, sir. That's the attitude. They they helping the people. Right, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But the people also know it's ain't a game. That's right. That's right. We Muslims. Mm -hmm. We here to help. Mm -hmm. So when you see, don't don't break our glass. Mm -hmm. Don't steal from us. Mm -hmm. Don't fight with none of the brothers. We your brother. Right. But when you take it there, we gotta take it there too. Mm -hmm. right. So That's we right. your brother. That's right. We trying to help you. We offer you some food. We here. We helping the community. Come on to the temple, but don't check your brother. And that's, that's what right. the people saw. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No. They looking and seeing they sell. Right. Then once you start doing that, then you got a community. Yes, sir. Then you got a nation. Mm -hmm. And then you have other people look at you like, look, man, this ain't a game. That's right. We ain't bothering you. That's right. So leave us alone. Yes, that's sir. the attitude that the people start having about the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Then it says more who formerly was in charge of the police station that serves Homewood, counts some of the Muslims among his personal friends. If he were younger, he says, he might join the followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, a professed prophet who lives in Chicago. He says, I just have a great deal of respect for the philosophy they teach, Moore says. Specifically, he refers to Muslims' emphasis on economic development self-reliance and respect for women. Mm -hmm. That's what the lost found said. Yes, sir. This is the duty of the civilized man. That's right. That's right. They ain't going there trying to be wise. Mm -hmm. Like, look what I know. Mm -hmm. They just being an example. Mm -hmm. Brother selling papers, opening up business. That's the duty of the civilized man. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what it is in, in the doing sense. Mm -hmm. That's your duty. Right. Right. So it says Judging by the number of neatly dressed young men selling the Muslims, Muhammad Speaks newspaper recently, more, more young black men are sharing the depth of the admiration these days. So more people who see brothers coming in home with selling papers and stuff, neatly dressed, and they say nothing about these brothers' science. Right. And they say nothing about these brothers trying to act like they smarter than the people of Homewood. Mm -hmm. The people right. saw an example in the Muslims. Yeah. And right. as they saw an example of the Muslims, the Muslim program get, gets, an, uh, Homewood gets an economic lift from the Muslim program. Yes, sir. That's it's the right. message. Mm -hmm. The teachers are the message. That's right. Because Master Farah Muhammad says that the history shows. Mm -hmm. Jesus was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Moses was doing the same thing. All of them was. It wasn't just a teaching thing. It wasn't just Jesus, let me show you how I can walk on water. Right. Jesus felt compassion for the people, mm -hmm. so he helped the people. Yeah. That's what prophets and apostles do for the people. Mm -hmm. They help the people. So now we want to look at a few of these progress sections. Because one thing that's amazing 
is when you start looking at these project sessions and looking to see for yourself what black people actually was doing. This is a progress section from Temple, Muhammad's Temple number 27. There's a whole progress section. This is something different from other people. They don't have progress section. They got a paper, they got a whole bunch of paper with some science in there talking about how wise they are. Right. They ain't showing you what they what the donations is going to. Right. What we doing with the money. Right. How we expanding what you giving us. Right. We ain't staying at the same spot. Right. We expanding. Right. We taking your money and doubling it. Right. This is what we doing with your money. Right. All the people in Los Angeles can look at this this paper and see what the messenger was doing. That's right. So this right here, it's it's a lot. This right here is showing Muhammad's import fish. Look at all these brothers working. Yes, sir. Full time job. That's right. Working. Right. It's the message. Yeah. All right. praise due to Allah. Yes, sir. That's right. Then they got in the paper something I ain't even never know. They got a uh, fish sausage. Right. I ain't never heard of no yeah. fish yeah. sausage. Fish sausage. Right. Then they had this brother standing there counting, doing the inventory on. Uh, Crates of 100 pound Navy beans. Yeah, yes, sir. 100 pound bag, and he's standing next to stacks of crates of them. 100 pound Navy beans. Then they got in there, brothers making bread, brothers making bean pies. They showing them at the, uh, the, the temple, and they showing them at the stores. So all kind of stuff in here showing how the Muslim, the messenger's program was doing for the Muslims. That's right. That's then you got another progress section. Just to show a few. This is temple number 12. Another city of Muslims. Temple number 12. And then this one, they, uh, they also got the fish team. Brothers working in Philly with the Muhammad's wife. Then they got temple number 12 on TV. Mm -hmm. And these professional brothers doing TV stuff yes, with cameras and editors and all these clean brothers doing stuff you don't only see devils doing. This look like a newscast. <laughs> Brother. Stuff the messenger's doing. Right. Then you got, not only that, you got the clothing factory. They got temple number 12 clothing factory. Then you see sisters actually with machines. With fabric. Mm -hmm. Big things of fabric. Right. Making garments. Right. It be like these black people. Right, right. These black people doing all this. Right. Then they got another one with your Muslim bakery. Look at all these vans and trucks lined up with these brothers doing the bakery. Mm -hmm. You just seen the brothers with the whiting. They got the clothing factory. You just, it, it's amazing, I'm telling you. All this stuff you see. Then they got Temple Number 12 pushes hard. 104,000 copies a week of Muhammad Speaks newspaper. Hey, this is a Brothers working, man. Working. Yeah, yeah. They ain't sciencing. That's right. They working. That's right. And this is what you see when you look at the the uh, progress section. Now we're going to talk about the process of the messenger getting the fish. That was something, too, that you read about the actual business aspect of the fish thing. It's one thing to look at the carton of fish and you don't know the behind the scenes stuff. Like, how did that come to be? They had it in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. And this one comes from the October 18th, 1974, Muhammad Speaks. And I'm going to start in the middle because the whole article good now. Yes, sir. Right. We ain't got time to read it all, so we're going to start in the middle. It says, the enormous positive value of the Whiting H&G fish and the low cost of 65, 65 cent per pound, contrasted with a dollar twenty to two dollars per pound. Sixty five cent yeah. a pound. Yeah. Yes, sir. The devil's selling for a dollar twenty to two dollars a pound. Mm -hmm. The message is selling for sixty five cent. Right. Yes, sir. Praise Jesus. Oh, praise Jesus yeah. yeah. But when we talk about Master Fry Muhammad being our God, we saying something different than what these other people talking about. That's right. We ain't talking about nothing spooky. Right. We talking about something real. Right. We talking about something real, and we always got to keep in mind who the messenger we're working with. That's right. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. That's right. Deaf, dumb, and blind people. That's right. Now this Muhammad's White and H and G was just one of the messengers' program. Let's yeah. keep that yeah. straight too. That's right. This ain't the whole program. This right. just one. Yeah. Right. 
And in months, they took this Muhammad's fish imports, and now they can sell it 65 cents a pound when the devil selling it for a dollar twenty, two dollars. That's right. So when you see all these Arabs around here with all this fish stuff, that's the message. <laughs> all praise you to Allah. That's right. So it goes on to say, it says, Whiting H&G fish was chosen as an ideal commodity by the Nation of Islam after an extem extensive sample of new, new nourishing fish products, the official said, because it is caught in non-polluted waters and have negative mercury content, no parasites, and it is similar in taste and texture to seafood considered to be delicious in black neighborhoods. The messengers just ain't getting no fish. Mm -hmm. They actually did research on the waters, how much mercury in the fish, right. Right. the texture of the fish, That's and right. what the black people like. That's right. That's right. It's the messenger. That's yes, right. Then it says, the initial search for nutritional seafood following a 1972 announcement by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that the Nation of Islam soon will offer fish products for consumption by Americans, black population. Notice he keep talking about black. Right. He ain't right. saying for America. He say for the black man. That's he right. keep all praise to Allah. Right. We want to make that clear for the black man. That's right. He says, uh, sends import representatives to markets throughout the Far East and Latin American continent. Mm -hmm. So the message is sending businessmen. Right. That's right. Yeah. Same right. brother you found yesterday on the park bench right. getting high. Right. That's right. Message is sending them out to the Far East. Right. Yes, sir. We only speak English. We, 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 what languages we know how to speak, but the message. Mm -hmm. After he clean you up, right. teach you a knowledge of yourself, he can send you anywhere. That's right. That's so they right. said they went on an extensive search to the far, they don't even name all the countries in the Far East that they went to. They just say the Far East and Latin American continent. It says later that same year, a sample order of 50,000 pounds of fish uh, composed of whiting Pollock, red snapper, and rainbow trout was purchased from a Japanese supplier. So the messenger went and tried out all these different kinds of fish. It wasn't like they just started with the salmon. Mm -hmm. So all of these people in the Far East, they was doing all of this uh, extensive search, trying to look where we gonna find the best fish. Right. First, they started with Japan, and they started sampling the fish from Japan. See what Japan gonna do. So it says, after a follow-up delivery in early 1973 of 500,000 pounds that included only whiting, and let's stop right there. Look at all the money, all of the business that you got to be doing to even to sample this stuff. Yeah, that's right. You get 500,000 pounds mm -hmm. of this stuff to sample. Mm -hmm. You ain't even really made no deal with them yet. You just seeing if we can do business. Right. How much money you got to spend on 500,000 pounds of all this different kind of fish? Mm -hmm. How much these people got to trust you to even sit down and talk to you? Mm -hmm. right. To go to Japan, ask some niggas. Right. Right. Um, Detroit, it's hard enough for us to have credit as individual people. Right. Right. The messenger say, I got international credit. That's right. So he can send these people representing the nation of Islam. Yes, sir. Not representing no black Hebrews. Right. Not represent no Moors. That's right. Not represent no Afro, because we always got to keep that in people's mind. That's yes. right. It was the message. That's yes, right. Talking about food, clothing, and shelter. This goes beyond just talking about the Bible and the Holy Quran. This is real. Right. right. All that other stuff is spookism, because you ain't proved that until you do something real with what you're talking about. Uh -huh. So it says that uh, after a follow up delivery in early 1973 of 500,000 pounds, that included only whiting, the increased demand for the product for larger segments of the black population puts import representatives beyond the Japanese market that had grown inadequate. Oh. Mm. So they was pushing so much fish, they like, we can't even use Japan. We gotta find somebody else. Right, right. It's the messenger. Yes, sir. And the white man did not believe that the messenger was gonna be this successful with this yeah, fish. That's right. That's they didn't right. think that. No, nope. They didn't think that at all. Mm -mm. It says, Consequently, the executive explained dealings began in early 1974 with Peru, the largest fishing nation in the world, with an initial shipment of 2.5 million pounds. So the messenger then went to Peru. 
who is the largest exporters of fish in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, if the messenger dealing with these people, he got to be more than just somebody talking some talk. That's right. These people, this business, this ain't talking about religion. Mm -hmm. This ain't talking about them going down there trying to convince them that I'm the last and greatest messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. This ain't none of that. Right. This the money part. Right. Right. This the credit part. Right. This the reality part. Right. The other stuff ain't reality until you make it a reality. Yes, That's just talk. Mm -hmm. The messenger made it a reality and proved what he was saying yes, true. Right. Right. And this is the proof. Right. So it says, Peruvian shipments to the nation of Islam has subsequently increased to several million pounds monthly, making the Muslims the country's number one customer. Mm. The Muslims. Yes, sir. These people are the largest ship distributors in the world. Yes, sir. And the Nation of Islam was their largest customer. Mm -hmm. right. The message. Yes, sir. Yes, right. So when we talk about the messenger being the last and greatest messenger of Allah, yes, we sir. talking about something real. That's right. Praise oh, praise to Allah. Yes, we ain't talking about nothing fake. That's right. We talking about something real. That's yes. right. Yes, sir. Well, bro, so much, I'm telling yes, you. Yes, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. But for so the sake of time, I'll leave you as I came. In the nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of Asalaamu Alaikum. Brother Sister, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live. The alone do we serve and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O Allah, please guide us on the right path. Path of those upon whom thou wast bestow thy favors not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray after they heard thy teachings. <laughs> Say he allows one God, allows he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is to be served worship or praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is that true servant and last apostle. I mean, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Assalamu alaikum. We hope you have enjoyed listening to Minister Khalil Shabazz. Tune in every Sunday morning from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock on 88.1 FM WHPR. Kareem Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Kareem Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Kareem Bean Pie. This bean pie is delicious. Kareem's Bean Pie is also available at several Detroit restaurants, including Davidson Fresh Fish, 1520 East 7 Mile, Royal Fresh Fish and Seafood, 11429 East 7 Mile, and Great Canadian Fish, Chicken and Seafood, 7601 East 7 Mile Road.